Okay, well, welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you for joining in today. Um, if you clicked on the link or stumbled across this video, I just want to say I appreciate you. Let's let's grow together. Like, watch watch my artistry skills and my communication skills get better. Let's do this journey together. Like, on a serious note, I really do um, hope you guys enjoy this video. I tried to make it as um, simple and beginner friendly as I could. I try to explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So hopefully that. Um, was relatively easy hope you guys enjoy it and please keep watching um, Anastasia dip brow eyebrow gel and I'm gonna just kind of like draw in or like kind of brush in my eyebrows and then clean them up with some concealer So again, I'm just taking this bully, just brushing it through my brow, pushing the hairs like upwards, and also like in the direction, um, in the direction where like my brows go. And then I just kind of like take my finger just to make sure everything's kind of sharp. I'm also, like I said, gonna clean it up with concealer, but I like to do that anyway. Whatever like areas that I miss, I'm gonna just like pencil the rest in. Also, in my last video, I this looks so great. In my last video, I did notice that like there was like a lot of like cars going by. Like I live like near like a major road, so like if you hear like cars and stuff going by, there's legit nothing I can do about that. So sorry. And now for my concealer, I'm gonna just take the Hourglass. Um, what is this? I think it's like their um, Vanish concealer. I think I got it from like gratis but um it's the hourglass the color that i use is called teak this one i really do like and the funny thing i was like running a little a little low on my concealers and i'm like please jesus please let there be gratis like please and like i got a new concealer which is really nice so worked out um and i actually genuinely like the formula of this and i like um the like applicator head of it it's kind of like long and flat so it's like easy to like kind of carve with which is kind of what I do for my eyebrows honestly I'm just gonna take like a flat brush and just kind of start like blending it all out Now I'm gonna just take the same concealer. I could have just like brought it down with the product, but I'm gonna just take a little bit of concealer, put it on my eyes. I'm just gonna use this kind of like make sure everything is like one solid color. I'm gonna set that with some powder and then go on with the eyeshadow. I'm just using my damp beauty blender to blend it all out. And you can take like a pressed powder, loose powder, it really does not matter, but I'm going to just use the powder that I'm going to use on my face, which is the Huda Beauty powder that I use, which is like my new setting powder. Until I find one that I feel is better, this will be my setting powder. So the first two colors that I'm going to use, well the first and the only two colors that I'm going to use from the palette is the color Teddy, which is the one in the corner, and then two um, shades across is Raw, which is right there. I'm just like packing on the product, making sure it's like 
really on there before I start like blending. I always think I'm so far away from the camera, but I'm gonna just leave it. I'm gonna just leave it um, where it is. Now I'm gonna just take this like really, really gorgeous like um, shade right I'm trying to point with this finger, <laughs> but that shade up in the um, top corner right here. Um, is this like a maroon? Is this maroon? This gorgeous shade here. Um, I'm gonna just take this and kind of place it all over my eye. Um, for these shades, I always use my like ring finger to pick. Even when like I'm doing makeup on clients, I use my ring finger because it just picks up the product way more. I feel like um, personally, when I use a brush, it just kind of like either like, flakes everywhere or doesn't like adhere to the eye well and I'm just like going back and forth back and forth rather than doing that I just use my finger sometimes people spray um, something onto the brush or like onto the product but like mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm gonna just take this I always do like a little like I place and like drag down liner just to kind of give my lashes like a guideline when I put them on Lashes may be a little too much for me, but these are the I just popped on the Lily lashes from um, in this uh, I was in the shade and the style Miami to prime and like prep my face. I am gonna use the Nourishing Face Serum um, Primer Serum from Smashbox, uh, the Mindful Five. I actually really like this one. Um, I put this on my face uh, like when I was going out a few days ago. And my makeup held up all night long and that's the only thing that it did differently and I'm like hmm maybe 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 they're onto something you know so I'm gonna just put a few little drops of this very minimum and then just kind of like blend it together my fingers my hands I don't really care Laura Mercier Radiant Perfecting Foundation. Um, this is in the color Ganache. I'm genuinely not sure if this is like my color. Um, it's been a while since I used this, but we shall see. Oh yeah, I think we're good. We're good. And I'm just taking my beauty blender just to blend this out. I'm just taking the same, sorry, I was like in a zone. I'm taking the same um, concealer that I use on like my eyebrows and my eyelids. Um, 
from Hourglass. Love should be easy. Why should it not? When all you want is to be loved, is to be loved. But love ain't easy. You taught me that. I let you in, now you were out. I do like this concealer a lot. I feel like it gives me, instead of like being super matte, I don't know if it's. Yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to be matte. I don't know, but it's not matte on me. <clears throat> My throat feels so dry when I put makeup on, but um, it's probably just like all a mental thing. But um, I don't know if it's supposed to be matte um, or like radiant, but it gives me like a radiant glow. Wow, I think it's really a mental buildup in my mind because like why is my throat genuinely dry right now? But um, it's fine. Um, it's so weird. But I genu I really do like this this concealer. It's really nice. I'm gonna actually spray some of the Cover FX High Performing Setting Spray. I have a little mini one that I got from like the Sephora, you know, the perk points. Cause why not? I have so many of those points. Oh, I meant to do this before, before. Do this before you put your lashes on. I find, oh wait, how would that work? Well, okay, so yeah, you, you can, yeah. So after you do your eye makeup, before you put your lashes on, I was spraying my face because I, I personally don't like spraying anything on my face, like with my eyelids. Oh, with my, with my eyelashes. Um, I know people like cover their eyes, but like, mm -mm, I could still like, feel it and like I feel like it messes like with my the adhesive on the la on the lash glue but whatever Ooh, I kind of don't want to do this now but what I'm not going anywhere so it's fine I also did this the night that I went out and my makeup also lasted longer so I did two things different so I'm not sure which one really you know was the determining factor of my makeup lasting longer but I'm doing them both because I'm not playing games and I'm just taking my, I'm just taking my beauty blender. I don't know. I'm like bouncing. I'm taking my beauty blender with a little bit of the Huda Beauty setting powder. I'm setting underneath my eye. Brown bronze, Bobby Brown bronzer. Ooh, I'm using the wrong brush. That's fine. Love should be easy. Why should it not? When all you want is to be loved, is to be loved. But love ain't easy. You taught me that. I let you in, now you are out, now you are out. I don't understand why you hurt me. Lancome Le Monochromatic uh, Hot Couture. Ooh. Um, sorry, they're blush. I'm gonna just use the same brush that I used to put on the bronzer and just kind of like. But I'm gonna take this pink um, NARS Orgasm um, highlighting. Um, Highlighter, loose highlighter, and I'm gonna just kind of. I'm gonna just take the 502 pencil from Make Forever. I'm gonna pop that under my eye. mascara and put that on my lower lashes you know what's really crazy I've had this mascara for a really long time I never opened it but I've had it for a really long time and the other day 
I'm like looking at my mascaras I'm like oh they all like now they all suck but like I just haven't found like my the one that I love I genuinely love this I'm not sure if it's because of like the actual like brush head it is so because I personally feel like I have small lashes they make my little lashes shine like my lashes are not playing like they look very very like I would say like almost like like medium because like I feel like they're just small like with whatever mascara that I put on they're just small like I'll put on like 50 coats of that mascara I'm just like I wasted my time because I don't see a difference this one actually makes a difference so anybody who has like really tiny small lashes try this mascara and I honestly like it change it will change your life like it really changed my life I'm not trying to like make you buy something for no reason because like why would I be going so hard like I don't even like know you but um this try this one you're really gonna like it and I'm gonna just do, do <laughs> I'm gonna just use um, my go-to like lip products cuz whatever this is me this is just me um, I do like this a lot this is the birthday suit from Tarte but what I will say is like all my Tarte lip um, creamy lip this is like rubbed up but I'm pretty sure it's like they're creamy matte whatever lip lip liquid lipsticks the handle the handle for the caps always break off eventually which kind of sucks they need to like fix that but like the actual product is cool Okay, so here is the final look. Um, honestly, this was very easy. This took me like no time. I used four colors on my eyes. Um, I just popped on lashes. I feel like um, for like beginners, when you want to have like a really like nice put together look, you really don't need to have like all these crazy like elaborate colors. You can stick to like one color theme. Just make sure if you do. Um, you know like three or four colors on your eyes just make sure that everything is like blended together um if you want to do like smoke not, yeah i guess like kind of smoky is like my go-to um just because i feel like it's very easy it complements uh, my eye lid and my eye space because there's so much space so i just want to like gradually like smoke that color out just to make sure i'm using all that space you feel like your eye makeup isn't as like elaborate as you want oh wait I'm actually recreating a look that I did, um, that I like did for work and then after work I was like, oh I like this makeup and I took a photo of it and I didn't like record it so I'm recording it but I forgot to do something. From the same palette I'm gonna just take the, oh I'm gonna just take the gold shade and pop that on the inner corner of my eyes and then we'll finish but yeah. And yeah this was a relatively like easy makeup look, I feel like anyone can really do it. Now in hindsight, I realize like this is like I should have did this video and posted it up yesterday for Valentine's Day, but that's okay. Okay, um, you can still do this look anytime. It's very very pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, like I said, I'm really look look. This is my third video within this month whatever this is my third video within three consecutive weeks i'm really going to try to consistently um post videos um like i said in my other video um i do, i am like constantly doing my makeup i just don't really um sit down and find the time to record it but what changed for me is i actually got like a little planner and i'm writing things out just so that i can stay like on top of myself because like if i don't have anyone to be accountable to then how am i going to make sure things are getting done you know at least i can be accountable to myself and you know sometimes like I, i'll whip out the book in front of my friends like when they're asking me like oh are you busy this day i'm like let's see let 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 the planner tell me if i'm busy like if my friends like want to go out i'm like you know that's fine and i'm like i know i have something to do today but i'm not really sure what it is but it's fine i'm pretty sure i can like do it another day like that is the beginning of procrastination which we're not doing this year so um after going on a little tangent don't forget to subscribe if you're not a member of this youtube family uh, make sure you like the video because if you watched it do me a solid like the video and then honestly comment like I'd like to have like some interactions with you guys I really appreciate when you guys comment on the video so I can like kind of like message you guys back so thank you for watching bye